This device is a pulse oximeter. It has a red light inside and it uses the red light and how it passes through my finger to measure pulsations of my arteries and the oxygen saturation in them. It has made a huge impact in medicine, for example, in preventing death during surgeries by monitoring anesthesia. My name is Turgut Turduran and I lead the medical optics group at ICFO and our group researches different ways to use light for clinical applications to diagnose and monitor different diseases and therapies. Our technologies measure the amount of oxygen in the blood and how blood flows. This is very important because tissues need oxygen in order to metabolize. They consume oxygen during their metabolism and oxygen is delivered to all the tissues via the blood flow. So by measuring this, we can help in the diagnosis and treatment of very important diseases such as ischemic stroke and cancer. We use light in order to achieve this goal. And that's quite remarkable because if you think about it, your bodies are opaque. So let's take a look first at green light. This is a green laser pointer you see on my hand. I bring it to my finger and you don't see it on the other, other side. All the light is absorbed by what, whatever is inside my finger. Now I turn on the red light and if I bring red light on my finger, you see that the red light goes through my tissue. And what we do is we learn the physics of how light goes through the tissues and how it interacts. Oxygen and blood flow are very important and there are many diseases where this information is relevant. In particular, we are interested in neurology and oncology. Neurology is the study of the brain, and we are interested in helping the therapy of important diseases such as stroke. And in case of oncology, we are interested in knowing how tumors, how cancer responds to the therapy, and whether a particular tumor is a good tumor or a bad tumor. There are many other potential applications. For example, we can do functional neurosciences. You can look at how the brain is functioning. We can look at muscles, we can study athletes as they train, or we can look at people with diabetes, for example, and see what's happening to their muscles. Basically, anything that is superficial and blood flow and oxygen information is relevant. Light is interesting because it allows us to get this information non-invasively. Light is also interesting because it's safe. And finally, because the devices are portable, it could be used in many other places. I actually like what I do a lot because it's multidisciplinary and it's very application oriented. I like starting my day thinking about theory, for example, and then going and working with electronics engineers on high level electronics and then going on to talk with a doctor about diseases and clinical problems.